In a previous tutorial, I shown you the way of how you can create the tall cabinet in Revit. And if you missed that one, I advise you to watch it because what I'm going to show you today is very much related to this element we created in a previous tutorial. And here comes the element I made in a previous tutorial. And as you can see, I made this uh, box for the cabinet, this structure of the cabinet. So what I would like to create now and what I would like to explain you is the best way of how you can create the fronts which are going to stay and to cover your cabinets. So first of all, while I'm still here, what I'm going to do will be to create a couple of more reference planes. So let's go to create reference plane and I'm just going to create a new subcategory. So I'm going to make this as Architizi panel. Let's make it to be solid line. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to take this pink color. So I would like to see them way better. So let's hit OK. Architizi panel. And then I'm going to just draw them like this here and I'm also going to make a few of them here and I will make one like this. So what I'm going to do next, I will take DI and then I'm going to dimension from this external reference planes to, to this pink one I made and also by side here and I will select this and I'm going to make this as a panel side offset, for example. So let's hit OK. So you see it's eight millimeters and I will just go here to family types. So panel side offset, let's make it, for example, to be four for now. So I can also bring this down. So I have the things better structured. So you see it's four millimeters, select this Dimension as well, and then add, add this panel side offset here as well. I can now take DI and then I'm gonna make it like this. So this one is going to be parameter panel top offset. And I can just make it clear to be 10 millimeters. Of course, I'm also going to bring this down. And then we need to make one here, which is called as a panel bottom offset. And I'm going to make this panel bottom offset to be, let's say, 25. And bring this down. So now when this is, this is done well, uh, what I would like to do is to create one more reference plane like this here. And then I'm going to just make this under Architizi panel category. So what I will do, I will take dimension from the offset of the top to the middle and to the bottom offset. And I'm going to make this equal. Uh, what I'm actually doing is I'm making this so I can place the panel later on and make it uh, to be constrained. Uh, I will just save my family and because of the need of tutorial, I will actually go to save as and now comes the very important part and that's the thing where I need to start creating the panel. So let's go to file new and I will go to new family. So what I'm going to do will be to start the new one, which is Phase based. So let's go to metric generic model phase based. Click open. And I will first of all create a couple of reference planes. RP is a shortcut. So something like this. DI and then make it to be equal. And those here. And then I'm going to assign dimensions like this. So let's say that this is going to be a width, so small w, and then this is going to be height. Let's go here to 
families and let's make this for example height to be 600 width to be 450 let's hit ok so you see that reference planes are reflecting let's go to create extrusion and then i'm gonna take peak lines so peek over the reference plane and lock it take trim to corner make this to be closed loop and it's here let's open front view so we have it like this rp create reference plane and make the measure from here to here so i'm gonna make this to be thickness like just the small t so what i'm gonna do i will just select this and then i'm gonna lock it to this reference plane so you see here let's go to 3d and right now if i just for example make this to be 15 for example you see it's going to reflect let's make this to be 900 955 for example so everything works fine so this one is done let's select this and then here for a material let's just create mat parameter m let's hit ok so we have created this family one what i will do i will just go file and then i'm gonna save as this one as panel a for example and then i will load this panel a into my cabinet family so i will simply place it like this here uh, i'm not sure about the reference planes where i place it so i will actually make the things the other way around so i need to restructure my tabs so you see right now we have this panel a family then we have the cabinet family let's go to the plan view here and okay we have this front back so let's select our element let's go to edit work plane and let's place this to the front back and i can also do this so i can just flip its sides so everything seems well right now and from a front view you maybe wonder why i have created this reference plane so i would like to center our panel right now because that was the way how i made it you see so i will what i what i'm gonna do actually i will link it through this point so let's go to front take a line tool and then align to middle like this lock it and then also take it and lock it here and what we need to do next if you take a look you see what we need to do is to match our panel to the size of the of the cabinet so let's open family types and uh, let's create a couple of parameters here so i can just make this as panel width for example then i will make it down just like that or it could stay here then i will make one more which is going to be panel height for example and i will bring this down as well we have frame thickness we have panel thickness so this is okay anyway what i would like to do now is just to assign very simple formulas in revit so the panel width is our width minus two times panel side offset so let's type it uh, this needs to be case sensitive so this is width minus two times panel side offset and when i hit apply actually okay nothing happens the reason is that i will need to map parameters so i need to select the family nested inside this one let's go to edit type and for example for a weed i just need to click here on this box associate family parameter and then i need to go and to find panel width i can also go and pick thickness and say that this is our panel thickness let's hit ok and then you see that it immediately work well what i need to do is also to go here to the panel panel height and then here we have height 
minus I will open brackets panel top offset plus and then close brackets hit OK so okay you see that this is not case sensitive I made a problem here yes it's the mistake was there let's hit apply so you see that we got those numbers now everything is okay so what I need to do is now just to go here to the edit type and then I just need to map this height to the panel height let's hit okay so we have it and for example, like if I would like to, let's say, make this base, uh, for example, panel top offset to be five millimeters, you see that it will immediately reflect. I can make this base side to be, for example, two millimeters or so. So let's make it four, four, and let's make this one 50 at the bottom. You see that everything reflects and we also, we're also getting the correct value for the panel width and panel height. If you want to get your hands on this project, the exact Revit file from this tutorial is available for download right now for all my patrons. And if you're ready to take it to the next level, my Architeasy Architect members also get an exclusive extended version of this video. And in that version, we dive even deeper, adding another panel and mastering the family types parameter. Click the link in the video description and unlock it all.